This is a Glitter Girls collaboration for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm sure just about everybody knows somebody that has had breast cancer or has died of breast cancer because it's so widespread now. It's one in eight women will be diagnosed in her lifetime. So that's a lot of women. Um, I have some facts. And it was from the National Breast Cancer Foundation. And I could pretty much only find numbers for the U.S. So the, these st statistics are for the U.S. And uh, my mother had breast cancer back in the 80s. And I'll kind of get into what she had going on as we go through these facts. Because, you know, when I read them, I'm like, yeah, that that's what happened to my mother. So in uh, 2020, an estimated 276,480 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed as well as 48,530 non-invasive. Now these are just estimates. 64% um, diagnosed show no sign of the cancer that spread outside the breast. The five-year survival rate is 99%. My mother had breast cancer, like I said, back in the 80s, and five years later, she got another type of cancer, which was bone cancer, and she ended up dying from that. So she was in a bad time for having breast cancer because they still didn't, they didn't have much success with long-term survival. So this year, an estimated 42,170 women will die in the U.S. from breast cancer. And then although rare, an estimated 2,620 men will be diagnosed and approximately 520 will die. Except for skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common in women. 30% of all new cancer diagnosis will be breast cancer. There are over 3.5 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. That's a lot. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide. In recent years, perhaps coinciding with the decline in prescription hormone replacement therapy after menopause, there has been a decline in female breast cancer rated in women 50 years and older. Now, my mother was diagnosed with lupus, and they were giving her hormone replacement therapy, and it wasn't long after that that the, the cancer hit her hard because cancer likes hormone pills, what, you know, whatever they use for menopause, I refuse to take it. Because if you do have cancer, it's going to come and bite you in the ass if you're taking this crap. Death rates have been declining since about 1990 in part due to better screening, early detection, increased awareness, and improvement in treatment options. <clears throat> so what is cancer? Cancer is damaged DNA. Cancer begins in the cells. Sometimes the process of cell growth goes wrong and new cancer or new cells form when the body doesn't need them to and older damaged cells that do not die as they should. When this happens, a buildup of cells often forms in a mass of tissue called a lump growth or tumor happens. Breast cancer occurs when spit it out, malignant 
tumors develop in the breast. These cells can spread by breaking away from the original tumor and entering the blood vessels or lymph vessels, which branch into tissues throughout the body. When cancer cells travel to other parts of the body and begin damaging other tissues and organs, it's called metastasize. And that's when it starts to spread throughout your body. So that's why it's really important to get checked. Get checked for breast cancer, colon, colon cancer. Men should get checked for prostate cancer and so on. Oh, that was a lot to spit out in five minutes. <clears throat> so yeah, this was a... My second breast cancer set that I did, and it's it gets hard to talk about it when it's so close to home. You know, my mother went through a lot of hell, a lot of hell. So let's hope that they find a cure one day. Do what you can to to help. You know, any kind of support that you can give. That's all we can do, right? Okay. For the rest of this, I'm going to put on some music and take a little breather. Oh, look at the size of these boobs I tried putting on this nail. Like, what? <laughs> they were too big. I think they were still ended up too big, but I tried. It's my first time ever doing something like this, so. They didn't turn out too bad until they got messed up, and then I had to, like, try to fix them, and then they didn't look as good. But you'll see it as the video goes. I had an accident. I tried using, uh, stamping gel polish around the, the lacy part of the bra or bikini top, whatever you want to call it. And it did not cure. Or maybe I put it on too thick. I don't know. But you'll see as the video goes. So I'll talk to you towards the end. All right, bye.
So this is the finished set. I think they came out cute. Even though I went through hell doing the booby nail. So what do you guys think? I'm sure there was probably a better way to do it. But I watched it a long time ago. I can't really remember who did it. I'm sure there's been a few people that did it. But I don't know. Maybe I should have went back and tried to find it. And see how they did it. But this was my best guess at doing it. I mean, it got there in the end I guess so I want to thank Sarah for hosting this collaboration that means so much to just about every woman out there please make sure you check out all the other videos the link will be down in the description box for the playlist and I will try to put it down in the message box if I get a chance. We also have a new member to our watch time group. Her name is Dina's Nail Art. She will be down in the description box with all the other girls that are needing watch time, including myself. So. If you can spare some time to turn on our videos and just let them play, that would be greatly appreciated. As usual, I totally appreciate it. Getting there a little bit at a time. If you're still watching, thank you very much for watching till the end. I love you. Anyway. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all in my next video. Ta-ta.